With the gun control debate exploding across the country, one Kentucky sheriff sending a strong message to the feds. Jackson County Sheriff Denny Payman insisting you are never going to pull guns out of Jackson County. So how does he intend to make good on that declaration? Sheriff Payman joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you this evening? Very well. So tell me, what happens if the President Obama issues some executive order and uh, increases uh, control over guns or weapons? You're not going to enforce it? With executive order? Yes. Okay. Well, when I swore oath, I swore oath to a community, a group of people who live in Jackson County. I swore oath to the Constitution, in which uh, I swore oath also to the Constitution of Kentucky. And in that Constitution is the Second Amendment, and that's what this country is based upon. Um, how can I rightfully in my own mind and in my heart uh, come in and take guns away from people when that is their protection? In an area our small, we're in a rural county, we're in a rural area, sometimes it takes 30, 40 minutes to respond to the remote part of our county to protect our people. Uh, they can call on a cell phone and I can say I'm in route, I can be talking to them. A guy kicks their front door, um, I would rather them be armed and be able to take care of themselves and to, in my mind or my heart, take the guns away from them. Is there any margin or area in which you would sort of amend or do anything with the existing gun law in this country? Is there anything differently that you would do if you had all the power? Well, it's just like uh, if you take out part, it's kind of like the Bible. Uh, either you believe it or you don't believe it. Or the Constitution, either you believe it or you don't. You either live by it or you don't. I think people have tried to compromise it, tried to um, tweak it, uh, mold it to whatever best suits them financially or for whatever other reason. <clears throat> excuse me, reasons. But um, it's still it's still the Constitution. It's still what we um, are founded on. What is your theory, or why do you think that we've had this sort of, these incidents like the movie theater in Aurora, Colorado? The shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, the brutal shootings in these, in like individual shootings in Chicago. People have been highlighting what's been going on in Chicago, especially uh, a lot of the young people in Chicago. What's, what's your thinking behind Why are we seeing this violence? What, who, what's the cause? Or is there one cause? Well, there's, there's a lot of different causes. Uh, you can, if you could look at each of the, the people that are doing it, uh, you go back to the, you know, they're talking the movies, the games. Uh, desensitizing the children to where they're you know, actually growing up with the way a lot of them that do it don't even realize they're doing what they're doing because they've been doing it every day on a game. But you know, I had a chance to talk to a journalist and this journalist, uh, we, after he you know, interviewed me, I had an opportunity to talk and interview him. And he said, uh, you know, we, I asked him, I said, so you get a phone call and you answer the phone, it's, it's your wife and she's, she's, she's panicked, you can hear gunfire in the background. Um, you can hear uh, children screaming and she's saying, honey, I just called to tell you goodbye because uh, they're coming down the hallway, these guys are shooting and they're coming to my room next. And so I asked what this is... guy, I said, so, no, just, I'll ask him, I said, so what would you rather have, a cell phone in her hand or a firearm? I think by arming the people, and he answered, a firearm. If the people in the uh, theater, if there had been somebody in there or several people in there a firearm, how many people would have got shot? In the school, so, how many people would have got shot? How, so if you were president, if you had all the authority you could, what, what would you do to sort of put the lid on some of these incidents um, so that they didn't happen? What, what's your solution? Well, I think it still goes back to, you know, and I know with the Second Amendment, the way it was designed, you know, was to, to protect the people, protect the people from also from the government. And... Uh, but, you know, in protection, it's just like if I'm a, if I'm a bad guy and I'm going to go kick a door, but I know the guy behind that door has a gun, and I go to this other door where I know a guy doesn't have a gun, that's the door I'm going to kick. Um, you're still going to have instances. You're still going to have violence. You're not going to be able to curb that, but the innocent people are going to be able to protect themselves. Sheriff, thank you very much, sir, and uh, we'll be watching to see what uh, happens because everyone is curious uh, how this is going to develop here in Washington um, and across the country. But nice to see you, sir. Hope you come back. Thank you.